this store after your name. It's a bold move. Um, did you like think about many names or were you sure to name it after your name? No, actually when I when we were gonna open the store, it felt like it was too bold for me to, to name it after myself. And I thought I really wanted to name it Begonia. It was, you know, my husband and, and other friends told me, no, you have to name it after yourself. The day that it got painted on the window, I definitely was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm happy that I did it now. How's the process of making a shoe from the beginning till the end? It all starts with a, uh, through an inspiration process where I, I search in, for example, architecture. Like I grew up in, in a neighborhood in Mexico City. A lot of the communal spaces were designed by Luis Barragan, the architect. And so I use a lot of those Luis Barragan colors, I feel like Mexico colors on the shoes. I'm really interested in textiles and ceramics and sculpture and, and art. On your website, you mentioned that it's important to give a voice to artisans that might not have it. So how has that worked, having products from other artisans? Um, I, to me, it's, it's one of my passions. I'm always seeking to see beautiful craft made with integrity. And so when I find it, I want to tell the whole world. Now that I have the opportunity to have people's attention, I want to offer that. How can a small store survive in a city like LA, where you have so many other brands, and especially where you have like so many products made out in China? How can you survive? Um, I think that what's worked for us is that everything that we bring is very unique. And so when people come here, they know they're gonna find one of a kind objects made by hand from either here, Los Angeles, or somewhere in Mexico, wherever we've traveled to find it. 